Let's go to page 280 and start with number one. Okay, you got 6 plus 8i plus 3 minus 7i. Okay, so when you add, you only can use the same kind of number. So, so use a, the real number, so that'd be a 9. And the imaginary number, so 8 minus 7 will give you 1, so it'd be plus 1i. Okay, and that's it. Okay, number 3. You got 5 minus 7i minus 8 plus 2i. Now, these are subtraction. So what you want to do, you want to get rid of the parentheses first, okay? The addition you can just add, but subtraction, do one more extra step. So minus 8 minus 2i. Again, you use the, the real numbers would be minus 3. Imaginary number would be minus 9i. Okay? Okay, let's go to number 5. You have 3 plus 9i minus 2 times 3i minus 7. So distribute. So get rid of parentheses first. Distribute minus 6i. Distribute plus 14. So you can combine the real number. So it would be 17. Combine the imaginary number would be plus 3i. Okay. Number 6. Okay, let's go to number 7. Okay, you have i times 3 plus 4i. So distribute. So this will be 3i. Now this one, you're gonna, the real number is 4. i times i is negative 1. So now you're going to rearrange. So it be negative 4 plus 3i. So always put your a plus bi put in this form. Okay. Okay, number 9. You have 2i times 3i minus 8. So again, let's distribute. So when you when you multiply this, you're gonna get two times three is six. I times i is negative one, so be negative. This part over here, when you multiply, you're gonna get negative sixteen i. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to eleven. Okay, you got one plus i, one minus i. Okay, so this is a conjugate, so conjugate just multiply the corresponding part. So 1 times 1 is 1, plus times minus is minus, i times i is negative 1, so this becomes plus 1, and so this becomes 2. Okay, okay 13. Okay, you have 5 minus 2i times 5 plus 2i. So again, this is a conjugate. So conjugate, you just multiply the corresponding part. Okay. Because of the, the for your method, the O and the I will cancel out. Okay, so 5 times 5 is 25. Negative times positive is negative. 2 times 2 is 4. I times I is negative 1, so it becomes plus 1. Okay, so it becomes plus, and so this will equal to 29. Okay, let's go to number 15. Okay, you got 4 plus i times 5 minus 3i. So you can use your for your method. So multiply, you get 20. Multiply, you get minus 12i. Multiply, you get plus 5i. Multiply, you get minus 3. But i times i is negative 1, so it becomes plus 3. So be careful with the last part over here. So now you can combine the real parts, so it be 23. Imaginary part will give you negative 7, okay, and so that's it. Okay, let's go to 17. You got negative 2 plus 5i times 1 plus 3i. Okay, so you can distribute. So multiply, that's your negative 2. Multiply, that's your negative 6i. Distribute, plus 5i. Distribute, so 5 times 3 is 15. And i times i is negative one, so this is a negative. Okay, so combine the like, uh, combine the real terms, so it be negative thirteen. The imaginary part will give you minus i. Uh, let's see, double check. Oh, be careful! This negative two and negative fifteen. Yeah, this is a minus, so it'll be seventeen. Yeah, so I have to watch for the signs. 
So that's why you want to use pencil. So when you use pencil, you can erase and make a nice. Okay, so you don't make uh, careless mistakes. Okay, let's go to 19. Okay, you got 6i minus 4, 3i plus 2. So you can use distribute, so it'd be 18, 3 times, 6 times 3 is 18, i times i is negative. Multiply, so plus 12i. Then after you're done, done with the first term, second term, this times i will give you minus 12i. This times i will give you minus 8. So combine the like terms, it will be negative 26. And this will cancel out, so it's kind of nice. Okay, 21. 2 minus 4i. 2 minus 4i squared. So you square this, you get 4. You square, you get plus. You square that, you get 16. You square that, you get negative. So this becomes, I can use you, you eraser, so this is a minus. Okay? So this will give you negative 1. Okay? So I put it, put it over here. Now the middle term just multiply all this together, so, so the sign is minus, number 2 times 2 is 4 times 4 is 16, and the alphabet or whatever other part is minus. Okay, so combine the like terms, so 4 minus 16 will give you negative 12 minus 16i. Okay. okay, let's go to 23. Get 1 plus i squared of 6 squared. So square this, you get 1, you square that, you get plus, square this, you get negative 1, square that, you get 6. Okay, so you can switch part. Now in the middle term, you just multiply all this together. So sign is plus, number is 2 times 1 is 2, and then you have the square root of 6i. Okay, so this negative 6 plus 1 will give you negative 5. And that's it. So you can combine this with this. Okay. Okay, let's go to 25. Okay, you got 1 plus i to the 3 power. Okay, so this one you're going to just, let's go and write it out. Um, okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the 2 power and 1 power. Okay, so this one, when I square, I get 1. Okay, square, I get plus and square that, I get negative one. The middle term, I get plus two i. Okay, and the one and negative one cancel also, I got two i times one plus i. So it's not too bad. So now distribute, this will give me two i, distribute, this will give me plus two, and then negative one, right? Two and then negative one. So this will give me negative 2 plus 2i. Two okay. So you can 2 it. Right? Real number times real number, 2 times 1 is 2, and i times i is negative 1. Okay. okay, let's go to 27. Okay, you got 3 plus 2i uh, squared times 3 minus 2i squared. Now, I don't want to square this because you're going to end up with kind of junky number. Notice the conjugate. So I'm going to do the conjugate. So I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to do the two sets of conjugate. Right, I'm going to write it out and I'm going to do it this way, right? They are square, right? That's this two. This one is this two, right? Okay, so conjugate. So this will give me 9 minus 4, i times i is negative 1, so it becomes plus, okay? And this will be the same, right? And so it will be 13 times 13, and so this will equal to 169. Okay. Again, whenever you see the conjugate, always go for the conjugate. Conjugate is one of your best friends, okay? Okay, number 29. You got square root of 2 minus square root of negative 5 times square root of 2 plus square root of negative 5. Again, you got conjugates, but before you do the conjugate, okay, first you need to go and take care of the i inside the square root. And make sure i is out in the, 
you know, outside. Okay, so you can take it a negative inside to make it into i. Okay, let's multiply. So this will be two minus five i times i is negative one, so it become plus, and so this is equal to seven. Okay, let's go to thirty one. 31 says if 5x minus 2yi equal to 3y minus 3xi minus i, find x and the y. Okay, so all you have to do is you have to match things up, okay? So, so the real part, so what you want to do is you go and, um, go and match things up. Or you can actually you can go ahead and um, so what you do is do, do the i part okay so the real part with the real part i part is the real part so notice that you're going to get 5x equal to 3y and the imaginary part you're going to get negative 2yi equal to negative 3xi minus i so get the real part get the imaginary part okay. and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and this one you can get rid of all that. Divide everything by i. So you got negative 2y equal to negative 3x minus 1. Okay. And then from here, um, you can, let's go and make into a uh, standard equation. And just move things around. So plus 3x. So you get 3x minus 2y equal to negative 1. And I'm going to make the y opposite. So I'm going to multiply this by 2. So I get 10x minus 6y equal to 0, and I'm going to multiply this by negative 3. Okay, so I'm going to make the y opposite. So I get negative 9x plus 6y equal to 3. Put this under here. You add, so x equal to 3. So once you find x equal to 3, use this equation. This is the easiest equation. Okay, so I got 5 times 3 equal to 3y, so divide by 3, divide by 3, so y equal to 5. Okay. Okay, let's go to 33. Okay, so you simplify each quotient. So you got 5 over 3 plus 4i. So to simplify, you need to multiply by the conjugate, so minus uh, 3 minus 4i. 3 minus 4i. Okay, and again, when you're doing this, right, do not multiply out the top. Do the bottom first because you might be able to cancel with that. So do the conjugate, so it'll be 9 minus, now 16, 4 times 4 is 16. i times i is negative, so it becomes plus. So you can see that this is going to be able to cancel. So do not multiply out the top. Okay, so you always do the bottom first because oftentimes you can cancel. So you can cancel, so you, you, you end up with 3 minus 4i over 5. Now you have to put in the, the a plus bi form. Okay, and so that's it. Okay. Okay, let's go to 35. You got 2 over 3 minus i. Again, multiply by conjugate. So you're going to get 9 minus, and i times i is negative 1, so it becomes plus 1, okay? And this will equal to 2 times 3 plus i over 10, and you can cancel. So this will equal to 3 over 5 plus 1 over 5i, okay? Okay, 37. Okay, you got 5i over 6 minus 2i. So times it by conjugate, so 6 plus 2i, 6 plus 2i. Actually, you want to factor out the 3, so, but that, that, that's just going to leave it. Okay, so you get 36 minus 4. Now, i times i is negative 1, so this becomes plus 4. Again, do not multiply out the top yet. Okay. Because we see if we can cancel things out. Okay, so you're going to end up with 40 on the bottom. 
Yeah, so you can cancel out C, so make things a little bit easier. Okay, so now when you multiply, you're going to get 6i, and it's going to become minus 2, right? Because i times i is negative, okay, yeah, over 8. And so this will equal to negative 1 over 4, right? Negative 2 over 8 is negative 4, plus 3 over 4i, right? So 2 over 8, 6 over 8, that's how I get that. Okay, that's going, let's get to 39. Okay, you have 7 plus i over 3 minus 4i. So you can multiply by conjugate. So you're going to get 3 times 3 is 9. Negative times positive is negative. 4 times 4 is 16. I times I is negative 1. So negative 1 times I will give you plus. Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and looks like that's not this is going to be equal to 25. And that's not to cancel, so that's going to multiply out already. Again, that's why you always do the bottom first. See if you can cancel anything. If you cannot, that's not to cancel, you can just multiply out. So use your FOIL method. So it'll be 21 plus 28i plus 3i. And this will be minus 4. Right? i times i is negative, times 4 is negative 4. Always multiply the i or the square root first. That way you can take care that if it's positive or negative. Okay, so this minus that is 17. Combine that will give you 31i. And you want to put in the a plus bi form. So this is equal to 17 over 25 plus 31 over 25. I. Now make sure, make sure, make sure that your eye is big and on the outside over here. Okay. Okay, let's go to forty-one. Okay, you got six minus square root of two i again. Oh, let's put i in the back. You got six plus square root of two i. Okay, so you have to multiply by, by the conjugate. Now, don't worry about what's on here. Don't worry about what's on the numerator. Look, focus on the bottom. Okay, so you got 6 minus square root of 2i, 6 minus square root of 2i. Okay, now it just happened that this is same as that, but this is not because of that. Okay, your conjugate is because of this. this. This is what you need to look at. Okay, okay, so let's go ahead and, okay, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and multiply. Okay, so again, do the bottom first. So this will be 36, plus times minus is minus, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, i times i is negative 1, so this becomes plus 2, okay? Okay, then after that, let's go and multiply. This looks like it's, this is going to equal to 38, so really nothing to cancel the 38, so let's go and multiply out. So for your method, so be 36 minus 6 square root of 2i, and this would be minus 6 squared of 2i. And the last term would be negative times negative is plus. 2 squared of 2 times square of 2 is 2. i times i is negative. So this is a negative. Okay? So this is a negative. I can use your pencil so you can erase and make it nice. Okay? So this would be a 30, uh, 34 minus 12 squared of 2i. And separate the two, so this will give. If you okay, let's go and separate first, one step at a time, so you don't make careless mistakes. Okay, and then you simplify by two, so you get 17 over 19 minus divide by two, you get six squared of two over 19 i. Okay.